Yeah, we have been to the same places for training for so many years. Even though we're quite young, we have been in the game for a, a long time. I've been a lot of time in Sierra Nevada and Fontrome, so it was time for a change. They are in the Atlas Mountains, Jukkaimden or Jukkaimden. Oh, <laughs> Not sure how to pronounce it yet, uh, but yeah, 2,600 and. 30 meters, I think we agree on here, and uh, 300 meters higher than Sierra Nevada, and uh, yeah, trying to do things yeah. even better. It's a bit risky going this high because it is actually extremely high. So we have done some tests before we came here, and we're gonna do some tests after to see how great the benefit actually is being here. Because uh, for me, I have to slow down quite a lot in my training to to stay within my uh, measurements, so it's important that we at least get the results that we're looking for. I think it's a good timing. Yeah. Like, uh, it's a year and a half until the next big goal with Paris and Olympic Games, and uh, of course with the, what we did last year with uh, the Arm and Challenge, like it wouldn't maybe fit in to do it then, so it's uh, not much to lose. Yeah. If, if we're having a negative uh, experience from it, we can always bounce back with uh, going lower in April and in the summer. So it will be interesting to see how the body is responding. And uh, hopefully when we come to Abu Dhabi, we'll be like regretting we've never been at this altitude <laughs> before. Good. It's very, very good. Very, very good. You know it. You know it? Yes, it's good. Yes, it's good. Ça donne aussi les, la force pour l'entraînement. Mmh. Ça le, le thé. It's a lot of bread. It's always a risk going to altitude. So especially if you don't have control over your lactate and enough carbohydrates and fueling enough and uh, hydrating enough, it's a huge risk of getting sick. Yeah, but the challenging thing is that just. The simple thing as sleeping during night, it's getting more tricky here to get a good night of sleep. And if you can't rec recover as good as you can do in uh, sea level, you might lose uh, too much compared to the benefits you're getting by the hemoglobin uh, benefits. So it's like always going to be measured up against each other. I do love time trialing, but uh, riding on a propel in this kind of environment, hitting the, both the downhills and uphills and uh, just playing around, it's, it is more fun. It's something about dancing on the bike, you know, yeah. like, just uh, we are already giving names on the course here and we have the sucker punch with 10k to go. So the sucker punch uh, corner is uh, the soccer uh, field down there and uh, it's around uh, that altitude where I'm start struggling and Christian starts uh, exhaling. And there on the propel, out of the saddle, just like ripping it on a big ring. Yeah. That's gonna be. Uh... Not even the KDX wheel can save it because he has the same setup, so. <laughs> I think now the Olympics is. We have sort of two different ways of attacking it. Yeah. You are now going into your second games after having not won the last one and. Maybe feeling that your chance. Yeah, and you of course won and want <laughs> to defend it. So it's, uh, but what it is about the Olympics that we want to win there again and try it again and again. I don't know what it is, but it's. Uh, it's the day everyone yeah. wants to win. Yeah. With enough, yeah, a career. And, and making it four years apart, then everyone is there ready, and it's what everyone is talking about for these four years. It just make it that much more special. Yeah, it's uh, just a really special race and it's where we want to win. <laughs> <laughs>